Hi everyone. I looked at a comment on one of my videos about the information technology degree and someone was saying that they were being told that an IT degree is only for failed CS majors and that it's an inferior degree. Now I have heard that type of thing before and I want to sort of dispel that in this video. So there is a lot that goes into people saying this and a lot of misconceptions that you might not be thinking about. So we're going to go over several things in this video, but let's start with the first one. The first one is what if you are in a CS major and you are having trouble? Should you go to an IT degree? Is that a good path? Now I've talked about this before in other videos, but it depends on why you're failing basically. If you're failing because you can't get past Calc 1 or Calc 2, then IT might not be so bad if the program that uh, your university offers doesn't require any calculus. But if you're stuck earlier on in math, it's probably not going to help you out because you're going to have to do the same amount of math. Beyond that, if you are having trouble with programming, you know, say programming learning it is like hitting a brick wall for you in CS, well, it's going to be like hitting a cement wall in IT. You're still going to have to learn it, and honestly, at least in my degree, it was the same classes that we took between CS and IT to learn programming. So it's probably not a wise decision if programming is what's uh, stopping you. Now, if it's workload or something, you're going to have a high workload wherever you go. And beyond the idea that you know, you're changing degrees to get a lower workload, you can adjust your workload without changing degrees. Just take less classes. No one says that you have to graduate in four years. So th that would be my advice if you're considering switching from CS to IT, if you are failing in CS. I don't generally think it's a good idea unless it's specifically like a high level math that is tripping you up. Then IT might make some sense, although there are things in IT that also might trip you up. But sometimes it makes more sense to take a bit of a risk than to continue doing something that you know that you're not doing well at or won't be able to, to do basically. So beyond that, why do people say that IT is an inferior degree. Well, the first thing I've heard is, well, as a CS major, you make more. Now, let's get into some things and some statistics. So, when people compare wages between people in IT and CS, there's a lot of problems they have. One is that the IT field in general has more jobs that don't require degrees, so they pay less in general. Beyond that, um, computer science, there are more people that do software development in that. That is absolutely true. Although, I am living proof that there are people that do software development as IT, and I know I'm not even close to the only one. So if there are more people doing software development having a CS degree, one thing you have to keep in mind is, yes, it looks like software development makes a ton of money, but a disproportionate amount of jobs in software development are located in California. California does have higher wages than the rest of the country, but the cost of living there is also much, much higher. And in fact, a lot of times the wages don't even really make up for that. So that skews the numbers. Another thing that skews the numbers is that IT, a lot of those jobs are everywhere. So even places with an incredibly low cost of living do need people to do things like, you know, administer a database. And they will pay less, but your cost of living will be a lot less. You know, you are making a lot less than that person in California, but your first house is also significantly cheaper and chances are you probably got a lot more for that money. So basically that is a big thing that skews the numbers. I do want to look at some and let's go ahead and, and do that now. Okay so let's look at some of these. This is pretty cool. Um, these are different careers that are put uh, between computer science and information technology how likely you are to have it uh, depending on what degree you have and then how much it makes and some other stuff too. So software developer, that is heavily towards the computer science side. I feel like it should be a little bit more to the right, but I would agree that computer science is more likely to go into software development. So that's 105,000 a year average salary. That's not bad, that's pretty darn good. Test engineer is a, a moderate, you know, 71 grand a year. That's a little bit more towards the information technology side, but it's pretty close to 50-50. Uh, computer network architect, I don't know if I agree with this one being strongly to the computer science side, uh, but uh, let's just go with it. That's 109,000, pretty good salary. Computer support specialist, so that's an average of 53 grand a year, not what I would consider a high salary. But one thing we have to keep in mind is even though this is more in the information technology discipline, as they say, a lot of people working support, this is basically help desk, 
don't have a degree at all. So I'm not sure if they're factoring that in or not. Um, either degree, you can definitely end up doing it. Uh, so then there's the Enterprise Architect. This is pretty heavily towards the information technology side and makes 131 grand a year. This is um, the highest salary we've seen so far, and it goes on the information technology side. So computer scientist, 78, you know, grand. Obviously, this is almost completely on the computer science side, which makes sense, uh, but not as high as a salary as, as you would think. Uh, information technology specialist, this is 57,000. This is kind of a very broad uh, job description. I don't know anyone who actually offers this, but I'll have to look at jobs sometimes and see if there's anyone that actually wants this exact thing. And uh, yes, this goes more towards the IT side. So what you should get from looking at that little bit of information is it's not actually the degree that's that important. It's about the job you take from the degree. There are IT jobs that you, you know, mostly IT degree people do that are low paying. There are also ones that mostly IT people do that are high paying. Same with computer science. And one thing you have to think about is that whole more likely to do this job. Well, that opens up the door for you can do them either way, regardless of the degree that you're doing. Now, what decides that? So what decides that is the skills that you have. One of the worst situations to be in is to be either an IT major or a computer science major with no real marketable skills. You learned to program, sure, and you say that you did, but you don't have anything beyond that. Because that's the important thing in tech degrees and in, in, in the tech field. It's not really at all about the degree and nothing else. Honestly, the degree itself, it's not useless, obviously, but it doesn't get you nearly as far as the experience that you have in particular skills. And that is what you have to show when you graduate if you want to get a good job. Now, I do software development. I have an IT degree. I was less likely to do that, yet I did. And there are plenty of computer science majors that are, are doing more uh, architecture type things that IT people are more likely to do. And they're doing it because the skills that they came out with fit that. And the one thing that you're doing in either of these degrees is kind of learning, you know, what do you need uh, to, to exhibit or what can you exhibit that will get you a good job? And beyond that, what do you like doing? And that's something that, you know, a lot of times you don't really know what, you know, what's going to happen until you go into one of these degrees because you hit on a lot of different things, regardless of if it's CS or IT, you're going to hit on a lot of different things. And one of the ideas is that one of them catches you and you do work on your own or, or maybe in elective classes or whatnot that builds the skills that you will actually need to put on your resume. So I did an internship and there was another IT major with me. Uh, and there was a computer engineer and there was a, a computer science major and we were all doing basically the same role. Actually, the computer engineer the, and the uh, other IT major, we had the exact same role. The computer science was very, very similar. He came in later. So it was a little bit different, but he, you know, we saw him. He was starting out doing the same things we did. So that was at a company called ServiceNow and they do want you to have a degree or in the internship case be working on a degree and it, you know, a tech related degree generally. But I'll be honest, I know people that work in my field that have neuroscience degrees, that have degrees that aren't really even tech related at all. But somehow they built a skill set that was useful in tech. So there are a lot of companies out there that they really just want you to have a degree and they want you to have the skills to do it. There are also companies today that don't even care if you have the degree as long as you have the skills. Now, getting the skills can be challenging if you know you are just doing something completely unrelated or don't even have a degree because there are basic concepts to some of the stuff that you may not learn if you don't take the degree you could do it on your own and some people do and if you can do that i say all power to you it will still hurt you to not have a degree but you know i would argue perhaps a bit unfairly either way that is the way things are so getting back to the matter at hand we kind of all ended up in the same place. I do ServiceNow development. Uh, all of them, last I checked, work at ServiceNow doing cloud support. And we're all sort of working in the same platform doing similar things. So this is one of those things where it really wasn't important what degree we did. We ended up doing the same stuff. And that is something I've heard more often uh, than I've heard that IT is, is a crappy degree. And um, there's a lot more to that. 
but the basic thing to keep in mind is when you're doing a degree, choose something that you like, do your best with it, but don't be so focused on that degree and making that a pride point. Because the degree itself, I don't care if it's IT, computer science, or even computer engineering, there's a lot of people out there getting that degree every single year. That is not going to be what gets you the job. What's going to get you the job is going to be having the skill set, having the skill. And this is where people in computer science have, or not people in computer science, people that say this that are in computer science, that IT is like an inferior degree, they have a huge misconception. And that's that lower level things are more valuable, when really the opposite is starting to be true if it's not already true. So being able to write a C compiler may be very impressive, and I would agree that it is, but it's not going to help as much for you getting a job is actually knowing how to work in an established higher level language, like let's say um, Angular or React. My ability to do, say, Angular is going to way trump your ability to write a C compiler any day for someone who needs something done in Angular. It's just low level stuff is impressive, it is good, I'm not saying don't do it, and there are some jobs where the low level stuff is important, but the vast majority of jobs these days, they're not that way. There are kind of um, kind of niche skills. These skills become very narrow, where these are the skills that you really want to build because the people looking for people with the, that skill set, they're not going to have a lot of selection once it gets to that point. You're going to be more valuable because you have a skill that's not as common. Now, web development uh, pays a little bit less than perhaps a lot of people would think, and one reason is because a lot of the skills that are asked for, while they are high level, are skills that are used in a lot of places. And that's where something like, you know, AngularJS is something I know. That's, even though that's a great one to learn, and if that's the way you want to go, I completely think you should. That is something that I put down, you know, on my resume. That is a skill that I taught myself to help me get a job. And it did. I may not have the job I had today if I hadn't learned AngularJS. But a bigger one was a platform called ServiceNow. This is a development platform that not everyone knows. It's just something that some places use. Not everyone does. That might seem like a bad thing, but it's not, because it means when it comes to professionals that have that skill, they're in fairly high demand because there's fairly low supply. Now, there are risks to this, obviously. If you go into a really narrow niche and have nothing else and something happens there, like say ServiceNow went bankrupt or they had a huge data breach and everybody stopped using them, that's not likely to happen, I will say that. But you know, you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, that's another thing. But the focus on those niche skills, I don't care if you're an IT major or a computer science major or a computer engineering major, that will mean more. That means more to companies that you have the specific skills that they're asking for than what degree you have. And a lot of times on you know, applications for jobs, you'll see computer science or related uh, degree. You know? And that generally doesn't just cover IT, there's a lot of other tech degrees. There's computer engineering, there's computers, uh, com uh, software development. Um, I'm sorry, I say computer engineering, I mean uh, software engineering. Although computer engineering is another good degree. There's a lot of degrees out there today. Computer engineering and computer science are the oldest. IT is probably the next oldest, but then there's a whole bunch of new ones. And the reason that they say that is because they just want you to have a tech degree. And even if you don't, the degree itself might be okay. But a lot of them, they say, hey, we just need somebody that has a degree in a tech-related space, and we need them to have these skills. That's what happens, right? The primary thing they need is someone that can do the job. So it's not at all about oh, we need someone that has this degree because they have the expertise. Because the truth is with tech degrees, you don't learn the expertise in the tech degree, you learn the concepts. Now, that is not to say that the concepts are not important because they absolutely are. The basics are what I go back to a lot. Anytime I have like an issue, I go back to the basics before I move forward on it. I think about, for me as a developer, basic programming concepts that I can use to forward things. Um, so they are important to have, but as far as that thing that gets you the job, the basics, well, I don't want to say they're not enough, but they don't reach that far out. You really need skills that, you know, perhaps you can find classes in your degree that teach this, perhaps you can't. Either way, 
you're going to need to come out with those skills to get it. And beyond having those skills, the degree really isn't that important. Now, I've done videos on the differences between um, IT and computer science and information systems is another one. That one delves more into the business side. Um, another thing that you should keep in mind is that business is a big deal. Basically, uh, people that are in computer science, the, the, again, shouldn't say people that are in computer science, people that are in computer science that say things like this, they generally have the mindset that the low level technical skill is more valuable than the business skill. And that is definitely not true. Management gets paid more in most places. So the thing is, in a lot of places, when it comes to tech with management, it's not just somebody with a business degree. It's somebody with like an information system or even a computer science or IT person that started working as a technical person and was always good with people, a good leader, and they got you know put into management. Now, that's a topic for a different video as to whether or not you want to take that route if you're one of those positions. That's actually something I'm considering you know, myself is what route do I want to go in my career? That's a different video. <laughs> so, uh, and something that I, I think about, you know. But my point is, is that if you're doing something that is more business related and less uh, the base skill stuff, that idea that you are going to make less money, that's generally wrong. Especially if you don't have very specific skill sets on the technical side. So, the statement that you may have heard here, I guess my point that IT is just for failed CS majors and um, it's an inferior degree, it's not a good degree. That's all 100% false and one of the big things that, it, why it's convincing to people is because they can't see the whole picture that we tend to think of um, computer science, software development, writing code, you write code, you get paid a ton of money to do it. And that's something that sort of we know about in society. But we don't really know about the kind of more IT roles, like the database admin and uh, the network technician or the scrum master. So we don't know about that because it's not really popularized. It's not really talked about outside the field, but it's a real thing and it's prevalent. And this is one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you regardless of what degree uh, you're doing in this video. And that's delve into these things, learn about them, uh, and that's why I do videos on them, because there is this whole big world of, of jobs that you can do that you've never heard of. And just because you haven't heard of it doesn't mean it isn't real and it doesn't mean it doesn't pay well. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Have a good night.